to the average Joe will take you where you need to go. There's plenty of excitement here, so come explore with us. We can always show you something new from theme parks to restaurant reviews. So join us at the average Joe Florida. Hello, folks, and welcome to the average Joe Florida coming today from Disney Springs, from the Springs. So we're here, it's been a while, it's been a few weeks, if not a month at least since we've been at Disney Springs, that's for sure. And uh, it's a Friday morning, so we said we'd come on by and see what's going on. Uh, I think we'll go over to the Polite Pig, although I'm not a fan of their beef. I do enjoy, I want to try the new fried chicken they have. They have a new... Uh, sweet tea fried chicken. Sweet tea infused fried chicken, so we're going to give it a shot, see what that tastes like. I don't like. know what that means. We'll try it and see what, it, see what goes on, and then maybe we'll swing by Giddings and see how long the wait is for their new cookie for May, see what's going on over there. So come on along, let's go on down to the Polite Pig. See if we can find some sweet tea chicken. Disney Springs has been a while. Right as you leave the Lime Garage, immediately to the right, that's the Polite Pig. They have really good food there. What they do is they make the brisket with a coffee rum, and I'm just not a huge fan of the coffee flavor. So that's the only reason, but the rest of their food is excellent. This is the regular menu. Look. Sandwiches, salads, sides, smokers. Beers. There's the uh, there's the QR code. If you want to scan that, that we can see the menu. There's the sides a little better. Feel free to pause it. And it's a quick serve. So you go in, you order. No reservations necessary. There's tons of seating inside and out. Oh, now you can see it. Sweet tea, fried chicken, succotash, cheddar biscuit, smoked jalapeno, hot honey. That looks good. That's what we're gonna get. It's been a while since we've been in here. Has a nice little seating area. Also has a big bar and a seating area outside. What are we gonna get? We're gonna get the chipotle cob. Our food has come. That is, that the, is the sweet tea fried chicken with a cheddar is biscuit. That a, That's a marigold on top. It's a marigold. An edible. Would you like to eat the marigold? I would not. It okay. comes with a little jar of uh, Tabasco, a little bit of that. This is lunch. Um, that's succotash. Oh, what's that? This that is that? succotash. Yep. And this is chili oil. Oh, um, yeah. That's a dipping honey oil with chili. Oh, okay. So we're dying to try this. And yes. that's the pretzel. We always get the pretzel. We always get the pretzel, too. Can honey we? mustard, and that's uh, cheddar cheese soup. Beer, oh, che that's beer always so cheddar, good. yep, dipping cheese. And I got the top salad. I'm going to mix that up. Yeah. Looks good. With a side order of cheddar broth. There we go. That's a lot of food. We'll be taking some of this home. It looks good. That salad is bigger than I thought. Yeah. So I'm dying to try this fried chicken. I'll let you know in a minute how it is. All right. So you're going to try this new sweet tea chicken. Sweet tea chicken. So we're going to move the cheddar biscuit out of here for now. And the marigold. I've never I've never known marigolds to be edible before. But No, they were bitter. Be. They're bitter. Unless yeah. it's... Yeah. That's a marigold. That's definitely a marigold. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. We'll put that right there. For yeah, now. we're not going to eat that. And we're going to try this. This is infused sweet tea chicken in the crust of the chicken itself. Um, let me get a piece of the chicken. Do you not taste anything? Not really. Here's some of the, because it might be that they brine it, like you know how you brine a, uh, a turkey? Right, right. It's in the chicken. Oh, it's actually good. Really? It's very, very mild. Um, it's soft. This chicken you could cut with a, with a spoon. It's so soft, and it's it's not that it's a it's not a sweet taste. It's a a tea taste. So I don't know how to describe it. Okay. If you like tea, it's like a, it's like you take a drink of tea, and 15, 20 seconds later you taste tea in your mouth. Right. Is what it tastes like. It's good. I don't mind it. It's nice. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. Not bad at all. It's the, all right. I haven't had succotash in ages. It's typical succotash. It's really good. But on top they put breadcrumbs. And I just read they are uh, spicy infused jalapeno breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. The breadcrumbs with the succotash, very spicy. And the pretzel, which is always good. The pretzel in the beer cheese oh, is to die for. Good. Oh, it's to die for. One of the best ones. This pretzel is almost huge. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah. Compared to my hand. This is the it's same like kind of pretzel. Huge. They make a uh, charcuterie board over at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar right. on one of these pretzels. And we haven't had that yet. We will have it one of these days. 
but the chicken is really good, and that's really good. And this here, it, it does have a bite to it. It is a chipotle uh, cob salad, so it does have a bite to it, um, but it's okay for me, so if you really don't like hot food, it might have too much of a bite, but maybe you can get a different dressing. But look where you are, you have to play pig, they're known for that, so. Hello, and we are out of the polite pig. Um, the polite pig, the sweet tea fried chicken, I believe is brined in, in sweet tea is what it is. If you brine a turkey at Thanksgiving, it was really good. I gotta say, for quick service fried chicken, I truly enjoyed it and I would get that again in a minute. Uh, the succotash was good. The breadcrumbs on top were a little spicy, but the succotash was fine. The pretzel's always good at the beer cheese. You can't go wrong really with the beer cheese dip in a pretzel. Right, right. Uh, so again, I would get that in a heartbeat. Now, it is temporary. It's only here for the month of May, so they'll have something new in June probably. But uh, if you get a chance to get up to Disney Springs, try the uh, sweet tea infused chicken. It is worth it. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Art Smith, Chef Art Smith, Homecoming, their fried chicken is my favorite. There's no doubt about that. But just try and get a reservation there for fried chicken. Next to impossible. So we'll take this as a walk-in. And uh, I think we're going to walk over to Gideon's and just see if there's a line or a virtual queue or what there is if we can get some cookies. Let's go take a walk over to Gideon's and see what's going on. It is a beautiful Disney day here at Disney Springs. It's 83 degrees, sun is out, the clouds are so billowy cotton white in the blue sky today, aren't they? And it's great when the clouds come by. Oh, when the, the clouds go between you and the sun, it's really nice then. But uh, it's just a nice day here at Disney Springs. The balloon's going up, it's not too windy. Look how blue and beautiful the springs are today. It actually looks deeper than I thought it was. Crystal clear, that water today. And here's the other side. Why they call it Disney Springs? Oh, look at this incoming duck. There he goes. Ah, that was awesome. Incoming duck. Disney ducks. They got the life. I know we've shown these before, but it's just so cool. Kylo and the Stormtroopers. They're so neat, aren't they? And Chewbacca's just so tall. He's almost life size. So cool. So we checked in at the Gideon's virtual queue. They said it's been an hour, hour and five minute wait. So we're gonna walk over to the Walt Disney store, kill some time, and then head back over to Gideon's to see what they've got for this month. Right. All right, so this month's menu, we have the, this is May, the Daring Demonicos at Gideon's Bakehouse. They look like they're twins on the high wire. Blind trapeze, maybe. Let's see what the menu is for May. It's the peanut butter cookie swirl. It's a limited cookie. Wow. Yeah. They have coffee cake cookie in the morning and dark chocolate cake in the afternoon. And they also have a peanut butter and jelly as their cake slice of the month. They got like peanut butter and jelly. I'm sure that is delicious. And nitro cold brew this month, they have the salted caramel as a limited one. Plus the regular peanut butter, pumpkin chai, cookies and cream, all coffee, just oat milk, and our vegan. Peanut butter chocolate swirl cookie. We're getting one of those. It's always fun to see what Gideon's has for the month. It's the month of May. We'll see what they've got. Gotta love Gideon's. I love the ambiance in there. All right, we've arrived in Gideon's. It's so cool in here. Oh, he smells so good, too. It's like stepping into a really, really creative tattoo shop. So neat. A pin. Oh, no. They don't have pins. <laughs> well, maybe they do. Yeah, they do. They must. These power cards. How cool is that? Cool. They sell and Gideon's candles, too. Yeah. The coolest stuff is the cat. They have classic coffee, pumpkin chai, cooked cream, and peanut butter. They have classic, which is just a nitro blue with oat milk, no dairy. All their coffees are made with oat milk. The classic one. And every month there's a different one of these guys on the menu they give you outside. That's crazy. Sounds like the ears. I think we're gonna get one of the uh, cookies of the month, take it home and try it. Peanut butter swirl. The cookies are huge, they're a half a pound each approximately. There we go. Triple chocolate chip, pistachio toffee. There's the original chocolate chip. It's very good. They have a big piece of sea salt on it, too. There's the peanut butter crunch. And that's the cookie of the month right there. That's the chocolate, chocolate. peanut butter swirl. And here's the giant cakes. There's the rainbow cake. There's the peanut butter jelly. That's the cake of the month right there. 
got the jelly going down the middle of it. That looks so good. If it wasn't with that jelly, I'm not a jelly fan. Oh, but it looks so good. Peanut butter and jelly cake. And there's the Andy's Mint Cookies and Cream Cake. Oh, that looks good too. Okay, so we are at home and we have the cookie that we bought at Gideon's. Didn't want to eat it there because it was really, really warm and really, really melty. So this is the peanut butter swirl. Put it on the plate here. It's a lot of cookie to say the least. All right, so let's see here. It's such a, they said they're a half a pound cookie and I believe it. It's a down, let's flip it over. Look at that. There are peanut butter chips, chocolate chips, and that's a whole peanut right there. And these are peanut butter swirls, so let's cut this. Oh, it's nice and soft still. Oh yeah, look at that. Peanut butter and chocolate, like it so it is. It looks really it's good. It's like a candy bar. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's pure peanut butter. <laughs> if you like peanut butter, you'll like this cookie, that's for sure. That is really nice. All right. I highly recommend that one, that's for sure. Giddings is always so much fun. Every month they have a different cookie of the month, and they have cookie happy hour uh, as well. I think it's from... Three, two, five. You'd have to check and verify on the website. But they sell the cookie with a scoop warm, with warm cookie happy hour with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on it. So it's during that time only they do that. Warm cookie with scoop of vanilla ice cream. Every day they have a happy hour. So, all right. I think that's it. We're going to wrap this up. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share us on social media. And remember, <laughs> there's the twins. They give that out every month. Yeah, it's the menu of the month. And on the back is a collectible image. They almost look like tarot cards, don't they? They're so cool. That's the May one we showed you a little while ago online. Peanut butter chocolate swirl. And they had that uh, peanut butter jelly cake. I loved it. I would have loved it, but I don't like jelly. I really, really don't like jelly at all, so I, I didn't get it. But it looked really good. They're big cake slices. All right, that's it. Take care. Be safe. And remember, don't be average.